It's me, your favorite cheese snack. I would love to take a trip inside you. I installed this Snapchat filter, hoping to do my favorite filter, but it didn't happen. Oh, well, we got this one. This one's kind of fly. Man, that is horrible. <laughs> this shit just straight put up. Hey, this is y'all when y'all uh, DM Noah Centino talking about mix my guts, sir. Oh, who the f do I look like? I look like every linebacker ever. Oh uh, yeah, we played a good game. Uh, you know, I think uh, you know we got we got a wonderful coaching staff here, and uh, you know we just we try to go out and and do the job that we can. This is just like this is the point in the um, distorted video where it's about to get really funny. <laughs> Bro, I just look like somebody's grandpa. Just don't even look like that. <laughs> we could replace the timing belt, or uh, we could just, uh, you know, we could start from scratch. We could just get a whole new car. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to the video in a second. I'm actually having a shitload of fun with this shit. <laughs> All right, so y'all seen the title. She's obsessed with Mickey. All right, listen, if you a grown-ass adult with, uh, you know, like, overly... Um, aggressive interest in Disneyland, motherfucker, grow up. She used the word Disney in her profile, and I thought, I'm kind of a Disney aficionado. All right. <laughs> All right, come brains, let's go. I do have an obsession with Mickey Mouse. No, 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 I, don't to find this. I don't have this, I don't have this, I don't have this. There isn't any rule they won't break. It breaks the code. Or line they won't cross to obtain their most prized possession. I have everything. Off rip, I'm already uncomfortable roasting this because this is just a foreign grandma. Grandmas in general are crazy, but you know, foreign grandmas get a special type of fanaticism with shit, you know what I'm saying? Because they come to America and dream about certain things and then they just, you know, that thing in America becomes a symbol of like freedom and success. So uh, whoever's grandma this is, I'm sorry, but also don't let this shit go to TV, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go. Mickey Mouse is one of the most beloved characters of all time. Uh, beloved to who, bruh? Is he though? Is he really the most beloved character or is that just the media and big corporations programming us into thinking that he's the most beloved character? What about Speedy Gonzalez, bitch? <laughs> His likeness is featured all over the world. And while many eventually outgrow their love of Mickey, Yo, did that shit say mouse skeeters? Yo, that's animal abuse right there. You can't skeet on mice. That's, that's fucked up. Not 55-year-old Janet Estevez. She still has a house full of mouse. Bruh, her last name Estevez, like Emilio Estevez. This is already a Hollywood plant right here. This is, this is, so. Uh, this is the system at work. She got family in Hollywood promoting Disney products. I ain't about to get got, you know what I mean? I have over 5,000, maybe closer to 6,000 pieces right now. Stan Twitter, take this screenshot right here. Me when Jimin spits on the crowd and I open my mouth, whatever the fuck. Keychains, watches, clocks, snow globes, name it, I have it. <laughs> All them watches trash, look at this. All them watches, not a single one of them Gucci. What the fuck ever was the point of a snow globe? That is some fucking 1930s ass novelty shit. Who is still buying that right now? There's probably a huge market for it and I'm just an idiot, but here we go. Everything I need to learn in life, I learned from Mickey Mouse. Oh, she got Mickey Mouse branded Preparation H. That hemorrhoid be uh, the most wonderful place on earth. He's gentle. He's kind, he's smart, he's everything you want in a perfect person. <laughs> she talking about that fool like Jesus, bro. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Janet Estevez is so obsessed with Mickey Mouse that since 1974, when she first started to collect, she has not thrown out a single piece of paper that has his image on it. That shit is serial killer shit. If only a lady would be obsessed with me like this. Cause you know how flattering it would be if every tissue I blew my nose into made its way into a scrapbook. That is, that's wonderful to be honest. 
Janet currently holds the Guinness Book of World Records for most Mickey Mouse items. Yo, hey, I ain't never seen that before. Washed up fat boy uh, Mickey Mouse. This version of Mickey Mouse has diabetes. I've never seen that. There's not such a thing as too many Mickeys in her mind. So the quest for new Mickeys continues to this day. Oh. <laughs> the biggest victim of this whole shit. You know when this fool sees Mickey Mouse, he just be like, I think we have enough. <laughs> and to keep up that purchasing pace, Janet shops at flea markets, garage sales, and large retail stores for new Mickey items every single day. Brush, her house is just a fucking garbage bin for Target. She's, she's basically Goodwill. This is fucking depressing, dude. She can spend up to $200 in one trip just buying mass-produced souvenirs. Bro, $200 a day on Mickey Mouse? Just fuck a real mouse, you know what I'm saying? Just make him put on the mouse suit and fuck you <laughs> as the mouse. Whatever you do with the displays, the Mickey displays. No, unfortunately, we don't give away our signs. Where do you I'm put them? I'm sorry, I don't want to find them. I want to find them when you throw them away. You um, can't so throw away no, now. The average American family visits Disney World only <laughs> once in their lifetime. Janet has already been there 200 times and now visits the Mickey Mouse Theater three times a week. What's Every happening? single. I don't know how much more I can take of this, man. She got to stop. She ain't got no kids. That's what it is. She got no kids. I think my mom would like to think that Mickey remembers her. She does have kids. No. I stand corrected. <laughs> she said it like her mom got dementia. <laughs> yeah, she, um, she likes to think that Mickey remembers her. Mickey makes six appearances daily. And when she's there, she tries to see him at every single one. It's just a horny teenager in there. That horny teenager going to Snapchat and he's being like, yo, this grandma comes in every day grinding up on my shit in that Mickey Mouse suit. And I swear to God, if she does it one more time, I'm gonna give her my number. She just gets so happy. It's like her inner child just glows. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stop it. At least she didn't name her kids after him. <laughs> That's very true. Stop it. I go to the parks and Minnie is with him. I have to say hello to her and it's okay. But then I said, I need some time alone with him. And she steps oh. out and I can hug him and kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at this shit. Look at the look in her eyes. She hates Minnie Mouse. Minnie, why don't you take your raggedy ass over there so I can spend some time with my man? Why don't you go hang out with that dog, Goofy, like the bitch that you are? Mickey is my mouse friend, and I'm his girlfriend, but I have a husband. So, you do the math. She looked at the camera, like, add that up, like, that made any motherfucking sense. She was like, Mickey's my mouse friend, <laughs> I'm his girlfriend, and, uh, I have a husband. So do the math. I'm fucking Mickey Mouse. That's the math. In 1974, the two got married. And for their honeymoon, Ricky took Janet to Disney World for the very first time. Who the motherfuck is that? <laughs> Wait, what? Who's this fucking Colombian <laughs> drug trafficker, man? What the fuck is this shit? That's a Miami contact for fucking uh, Pablo Escobar. After spending thousands on airfare and four to eight days traveling from their home in Puerto Rico for their yearly pilgrimage to Orlando, they moved closer to Stewart, Florida, only two hours from her other true love's home. Oh my God, dude. Oh my, this bitch doing sabbatical at Disneyland. Oof. I used to work at Disneyland, so I used to literally a creepy subculture of middle-aged women just like this bitch. What the hell you say? That was like weirdly specific. Bruh, I used to work at Disney and there's literally a creepy subculture of middle-aged women just like this bitch. Yo, what? What? You're telling me that all it takes to pick up a middle-aged woman is to dress like Mickey Mouse? 
Uh, Garsh, bitch. <laughs> What's good? <laughs> Clearly, uh, the sex appeal of Disney characters transcends race and culture. It's an age thing, baby. Once you hit 50, cartoons. Gross. Don't clip that. With Ricky's Mickey rules, will Janet be able to fit all of her collection in their new, much smaller condo? He's genius. She was like, I gotta be closer to Mickey Mouse. And he was like, okay. You know the house is gonna be smaller. She's like, I don't care. We gotta go. And he's like, okay. But if you have to throw some shit out, don't say I didn't tell you so. <laughs> As close as to heaven as I'm going to get, that's for sure. I would think a, a Puerto Rican mom would think a church was the closest to heaven, but the fact that it's Mickey Mouse, what? I, I still don't understand. I want, I want to know more about this. I want our ex-Disney employee to divulge a little bit, because this shit sounds crazy. I just want to do a full documentary on, on women like this. And then I talked to them and said, do you like it here? No, you don't like it. Do you look here? No, you don't look here. It's pretty weird that she talks to them sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think she makes her husband wear a Mickey costume when they fuck? Yo, man, you definitely checking into the stream late. No, I don't think her husband fucks her at all. That's why she um is doing this. <laughs> Look, man, uh, her husband just torched the shit out of her. Listen to this again. It's pretty weird that she talks to them sometimes. Um, it's kind of fucked up that she uh, talks to him. Yeah, she doesn't even really talk to me the way she talks to those things, so. What, witness the pain. Witness the pain. It's pretty weird that she talks to them sometimes and uh, blows kisses at them, but I guess that, that's uh, a lot of people do that. No, they don't, brother. They actually don't. I'm sorry. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> This is the beginning of the end for this fool. He about to shoot every Mickey Mouse in that bitch. I gotta find a place for you, baby. I requested that we don't have Mickeys in the bathroom. We don't have Mickeys in our bedroom. He had to specify the bedroom. <laughs> she put that big Mickey Mouse at the end of the bed. And she was like... And he's sitting there with his dick out like, no. Out. Take it out. Take it out. There's one other Mickey in Janet's house that people don't ever get to see. I do have a sad Mickey. A my sad Mickey? My husband bought it for me back in 1991 when my parents oh, passed yeah. away. There you have it, folks. Case closed. We've been laughing at somebody's dead parents. This, this is really the pinwheel in Inception right here. The same thing. It's in a safe and everything. <laughs> Let me pull up that fucking music. Janet. Janet, don't jump. Remember what we talked about, okay? Look inside. Look inside. Do you see the Mickey? Do you see the Mickey inside? Do you see it? The sad Mickey. You see it? Where did I buy that for you? There's no sad Mickey on the other side. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Hey, hey, bitch. Keep no. the change, you filthy animal. Fuck My off. My dad died when I was six, and I don't want to fuck a mouse. This ain't it, chief. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, that was real as fuck. <laughs> That was cold as hell. Hey, listen, man. My parents fucking dead. I ain't trying to fuck no mouse. This bitch crazy. <laughs> That's what you said, man. You said it, not me. You said it, not me. Also, fuck off. Oh, yeah. I make a I make a dark sketch based on Inception, and you, you tell you, I'm the bad guy. Fuck out of here. You're going to hell with me. Every single one of you here, we're going to hell together, whether you like it or not. You can't just, right when we get to the gates of hell, be like, oh, wait, wait, wait. I was just laughing. I didn't. They're not my jokes. I was just entertained. I'm this one big hell train and we going together. Okay. Don't don't get a conscience right before we're entering it, okay? It's over, man. I have a better place for it though. 
it is a rug and this is where rugs belong. Oh, he's starting to get angry. Well, why don't we use it as a doormat? You know what it's meant for. Why don't I rub my fucking feet all over that stupid mouse's face? How about that, Janet? Huh? <laughs> Whatever makes Janet happy is, is fine with me. You know how they say it's happy wife, happy life. You felt that. You felt that. You, we all felt that. F's in the chat for that, man. We all felt that. 